good morning too with you. <laughs> wow. Lenny and I did a 10 minute Joe Dispenza. You know, beginner video, yeah. Well, it wasn't even his voice. I think somebody ripped off his stuff and just read it. It was some woman's voice. But anyway, she was pleasant. It was a 10 minute, just, and, and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, it, it was cool. Um, it was about envision your future, like what you want your, you know, imagine the, the future that you want, like ideas of about whatever it is. And oh, the dogs, oh, uh, it, it was really powerful for me. I, I don't think a whole lot happened for Lenny. I didn't talk to him about it, but it, it that's not to be unexpected because um, I was doing yoga for like three months and I mean, just a <laughs> dabbling, but I was able to reach that point where I understood. I mean, they didn't really, well, they sort of said it, but that, not as directly as Joe is saying it. It's just like, we got to get in touch with your body. Now, the yoga people weren't really explaining why or anything. Just get in touch with your body. And can you feel, where do you feel your tension and blah, blah, blah. It was more or less just kind of benign sounding like, yeah, get in touch with yourself again. Where Joe takes it, look, get in touch with your body and, 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 and tell it it's not the fucking boss. In other words. Well, that's what I listened to this morning. And I'm like, yes, it is taking all these ideas that have been forming for me for like probably 15 years and it's stitching it together and I'm going, and well, I believe it now because I was unable to, I was not allowed to believe it because the religious training was so firm and concrete. The fear level was off the mother barking charts because Karen's going to hell. And I'm telling you, I am absolutely going to hell, period. I mean, this is was the state of mind from the time... Uh, I, I met Jesus when I was 18 to the time I committed my first sin after that, after reading the scripture, up you to put your hand to the plow and turn back and you can fuck yourself. And it's just like, geez, this God is so harsh because he's perfect. Here. You gotta be perfect. Well, Jesus died for your sin. Unless you, unless you accept his good graces and then sin again, then you're worse than if you ever, never met him before. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, right? Can we just stop? God bless America, man. So, I listened. I'm going to tag. I'm, I'm going to put the link in I, in the description. I mean, the, in the comment section. I just listened to this this morning, and I'm like, I could not. I've, I've said these things many different ways in the last year or so to various people, but I didn't quite tie it all together neatly the way Joe did, and with well, much more. I'm sure, much more. Whatever, hootball, because he's got the power, man. I mean, he's got the power because he realized he had the power with the whole, he healed his own spine by laying at his friend's house for nine weeks. I mean, come on folks. Anyway, Hey, look into it. <laughs> um, and when I listened to him tell that story, I listened to that yesterday. I listened to, it was Sheena, Sheena, you read the forward to his book talking about how his spine was crushed as fuck. And he freaking laid there and thought about it and thought about it and thought about it until he put it back together. It reminded me of, the uh, one of the stories in the sound healing book about I, i'm certain it's in there i think it's in there i gotta open the book again the lady i think it might have been a veterinarian i'm not sure but the dog her dog got smashed but he didn't die and she used the forks the healing force they're like this dog is fucked the vets are like blah, blah, blah. and she's like oh went home and dude the bone fork the nerve for and this dog's bones just just knit themselves back together and jumped up and was fine because <laughs> the dog didn't know the dog was like the dog wasn't like the dog didn't hear the words, you're terminal, you're fucked. The dog was just like, ouch, this hurts. I'm sure it'll get better. I mean, you know, the dog didn't have any beliefs that this dog, that it couldn't get better. Anyway, we used, the, the lady used the science of the, the vibrations of these forks and the bones in this dog and the, 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 the way that they're supposed to vibrate. And it like shook it into, shook them bones into place or so. I don't know. Don't even ask me how that, but anyway, I believe it because I just do. You got to believe something. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just believe it. I think I've seen enough in my personal experience to say, I think that happened. I'm pretty sure that happened. So I am on my way. And so yesterday, what, are we here for the hot flash count? I slept almost, I slept seven and a half hours. I woke up a few times and it just rolled over a few times. Very, very, very little hot flashing. 
until this uh, 420, 420, <laughs> I woke up and I was like, had a little hot flash. But I listened to Joe Dispenza all night long and <laughs> talk about the space between your ears and space between your shoulders and play this music. And I'm like, I'm going to do this tonight. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Now, yesterday I had four grapefruits, tenderloin and salmon, eggs and sausage. And did not have, one, well, had the coffee. I had a cup of coffee in the morning. And did not have the hellish hot flashes all night and none of that bullshit. It was just like, what's going on here? So I'm saying, well, we're dealing with either the taco seasoning packet or the salsa that I put together, sour cream and cheese. Okay, that was all on the one thing that I did not have yesterday. But I'm just going, was that at least? Lisa's like, oh, man, you did tomatoes and onions? <laughs> like, what is the problem? Really? Could it be that? I mean, I guess it could be. And they're like, was it organic? The yogurt was. <laughs> so that's why I had it again. I did have some more yesterday. I did have some yogurt yesterday. I thought, well, this is just organic. It says. Anyway. So I did okay. I'm like, <laughs> it, sometimes you wonder if it's what you ate directly that day or if it was something in the last couple of days and then all of a sudden your liver gets a little clogged that night and like, you know, and then it just, you hot flash. I don't know. I don't know. TMI, right? Who gives a shit, Karen? And Frankie's just like, God, Karen, please stop talking about woman's crap. And I love you, Frankie. Thanks for listening to my BS. But no, seriously, this is, um, when I, when I would hear the word Joe Dispenza meditation, I, I was firmly schooled from the parents that meditation on anything other than the biblical scripture is satanic and you're opening up yourself for demonic possession. I mean, these people literally had me bound and gagged spiritually and I haven't talked to them and my mom's dead I mean it's it, decades and you're just like how does this happen Joe will explain it to you if you care to listen and, and, and or not I mean whatever I get it I get it his he, he's got this humbleness to him that I can deal with because I cannot deal with these fucking gurus, right? Not your guru. It's just like, I'm silent, I'm fucking great. I'm a god. People are just, oh, I, I can't. I can't. You can get the fuck out of my face with that shit, you narcissistic motherfucker. I can't do it. You got to come at me with a... I mean, confidence is cool. I like confidence. Confidence. Humble confidence. Grateful confidence. Like, I'm, I'm confident that I can do this. I'm so grateful that I am confident about it. Not, ha oh, ha oh, oh. Bye, mom. I'm sad. Like, oh my God, why don't you get a facelift? Oh my God, your neck is so fucking gross. I don't need a neck lift. I'm going to lift it with my mind, the power of my mind, mother. <laughs> I'm going to lift that bitch. Like, <sighs> anyway, let's, um, if you care to, learn from uh, Joe and people like him that have discovered uh, that you, that, that it, it's, it's very simple. It is so simple. We've been programmed and our body has been in control for a long time and he explains why and how. And it's just, it's so simple that once you understand it, it's no longer extremely intimidating. I mean, when, if we judge ourselves harshly, a lot of us judge ourselves real harshly. At first you might get real judgy on yourself. Please try not to do that. <laughs> just go, whoops, whoopsie. It's just proof that the body is too much in control of the situation. It wants to continue to feel emotions. It's, 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 it's the hard road. It's the road we're used to. Oh, ooh, running in traffic. Oh, angry, angry. Karen gets up in the morning and watches videos about Israel and gets mad. Like, no, Karen doesn't do that now. So, um, it's patterns. We, our brain loves patterns, and but we can produce new patterns. Who's in control? Our parents, our teachers from elementary school. Like, what the fuck is going on here? We're 50 years old, folks. Wiggle, let's go. Or 20 years old, or however old you are. You know, like, don't wait until you're 51 like I did. Do it now. I mean, you can do it. Do it. Prove it to your parents, young people. If they got young people to say, show them how to change. Your mental, you know what I mean? Like, save your parents. I, mean, I know a lot of you young people got parents out there that are like, uh, just, just, just uh, slaves to the doctor, slaves to the system. Oh, I need all my pills and my beepers to tell me when to eat and shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go to my friend's house, Paula, today, and I'm going to tell her, look, man, remember you had a year ago when somebody told you it was on your head? Some doctor arrogantly told her, it's on your fucking head, dumb bitch. And I was just like, what? 
Why'd you have to say it like that? It may be originating all up here, but don't tell her it's it's her fault. You want to be sick. Fuck you. Fuck you, doctors, telling her that shit. Fuck you. And fuck you, doctors, that tell her, oh, you sit around and graze all day, you fat pig. She's <laughs> She can barely eat anything because her stomach won't fucking move. So, you're fucking wrong about that. Anyway, I want to explain it to her in a different way. And maybe I can let her, maybe I can just say, look, please listen to Joe explain it very gently. It's not your fucking fault. You were a good girl. And that's why this happened. We were good girls and boys. We do what we were told. And we, we freaking locked, we lined up and we did what we were supposed to do. Well, turns out they were, they were running a program on themselves. I mean, they were just, they were just repeating it. You know what? We got to break away, break away from the programming. And it does take practice. So I just, I want, I want to sound like I want to convince her. I have to envision this future where my best friend, my best friend from my childhood and, and, and grasps this truth without feeling as if it's an insult to her because it's not at all. But it feels like it when it's, when it's, a, when you're approached wrongly and you're racked with pain from head to toe, like she is to be told like, well, it's all in your head. This is what you gotta do. You just gotta change your mind. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way to say it because it's true, but yet it's, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go folks. Let's try to notice and Sheena, you've been doing it for the whole last year now. I noticed this thought that went by and how fucked up that was. And I'm just like, yes. And we got to change our mind. We got to re-raise ourselves. There's ways. And I got to see Lilla Posture Lady tomorrow. And I'm going to explain. She's going to be like, yay. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to Joe Dispenza it. I don't want a guru. It's like, well, don't, don't, don't make Joe your guru. No, but I just, I like how he explains things. He explains it very well.